Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to apply Lambert W function to solve this particular problem which is 3 to the power of x plus x equal to 11. So if you are new here consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. Alright let's get started. Um, by guess and check you can clearly see that x is equal to 2 because 3 to the power of 2 is 9 and 9 plus 2 is indeed equal to 11. We're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to apply lambda w function. First of all, let us take this to the other side. We have 3 to the power of x to the left. This is equal to 11 as x crosses over and becomes negative. Next, I would like to divide both sides by 3 to the power of x. So we have this divided by 3 to the power of x, also 3 to the power of x to the other side. To the left-hand side, we have only 1. And to the other side, it can be expressed as 11 minus x multiplied by 3 to the power of negative x once this goes to the top. So you can see that this is 11 minus x. I would like to have 11 minus x here. And how can we do that? By multiplying both sides by 3 to the power of 11. So let's do that. This is 3 to the power of 11 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 3 to the power of 11 on both sides. The equation remain balance. The left hand side is 3 to the power of 11 and this is equal to 11 minus 3 minus x sorry then 3 according to one of the laws of indices since we have common basis you can take a base and add the exponents so once you add negative x and 11 you have 11 minus x. According to lambda w function if you have a function like a e to the power of a once you apply lambda w function, which is w, on this function, it will turn out to be equal to e. So you can see that this is almost exact as this. The only difference is that we have 3 here instead of e. So how can we transform it in terms of e? Alright, you should know that 3 can be written as e to the natural log of 3. Because e will cancel natural log and eventually we have 3 back. So let's do that here. Uh, we have 3 to the power of 11. This is equal to 11 minus x. Instead of 3, we write e to the natural log of 3. The whole of this raised to the power of 11 minus x. And now you can multiply the two exponents. So we have 3 to the power of 11 equals 11 minus x multiplied by e to the power of ln 3 multiplied by what 11 minus x all right you can see that the only difference between this and this is this natural log of 3 and hence we can multiply both sides by natural log of 3 so this is natural log of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 11 or we can write 3 to the power of 11 first, all the same. 3 to the power of 11 multiplied by natural log of 3. This is equal to natural log of 3 multiplied by 11 minus x. Then e to the power of natural log of 3 multiplied by 11 minus x. All right, now you can see that this and this are all the same. We can apply lambda w function. So we have lambda w function of the left hand side, which is 3 to the power of 11 times natural log of 3. Apply the same thing to the other side, lambda w function of natural log of 3 multiplied by 11 minus x e to the natural log of 3, 11 minus x. All right. So the left hand side remain the same, natural. Um, lambda w function of 3 to the power of 11 times natural log of 3 but the other side we're only going to have this which is natural log of 3 times 11 minus x remember our main goal is to find the value of x so we can divide both sides by natural log of 3 so this is lambda w function of 3 to the power of 11 uh, multiplied by natural log of 3 divide by natural log of 3 
and this is equal to just 11 minus x. Once negative x crosses the left hand side, it becomes positive. This is equal to, as this crosses over, it becomes negative. So we have 11 already there. The minus lambda w function of 3 to the power of 11 multiplied by natural log of 3 divided by natural log of 3. And hence, this is said to be the solution to this problem. If you have a lambda w function calculator, just press the whole of this you will definitely get x equal to 2. Or you can check Wolfram alpha, right? Just check this website and insert the whole of this in here. It will definitely be equal to 2. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.